Dan's house. You got a big pack. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Show us. All right. Welcome back everybody to Ready, Aim, Live. I'm Jose. I'm Wes. And I'm Tyler. And today we're gonna go ahead and have Tyler break down this bag pocket by pocket and let us know everything that's in there. And if you remember a couple weeks ago, we started breaking down what goes into a bug out bag and what makes it up. But now we're gonna get in depth with it. Tyler, let's see what you got. First off, let's start off with what the bag is. All right. It's a Titan. I, I think it's it. a, a 3400. I don't know really what that means, if it's like a leather size or you know dimensions or some what. I think it is 600D ripstop, mm -hmm. okay. so that's a good material. Um, this bag is only 80 bucks on their website right now. Like it's it's not that bag. It's a big so, bag too. So somewhere in that in that budget region, you know, like the Max Expedition bag. Oh, I seen one at 511. That was like 700 bucks. 700. So it's <laughs> like the whole setup, extra pouches, waistbands, Damn. and stuff like okay. that. And that's another thing too. Like y'all y'all held this pack. Y'all know how yeah. much the waistbands and the padding and like it's just once you start getting up into some weight, the, the straps really help. Yeah, that that hip padding right there. I'll tell you what, that's definitely a lifesaver. It just evenly distributes the weight throughout your body, so you're carrying an even load at least. But so. like you said in, in previous video, you know when you do build your own pack, you want to keep it. You know what was it, 15 percent of your body weight yeah. or less? Now our, this is uh, ob this is actually given to us by our buddy Daniel to use for our film. And uh, we go camp with him all the time. He's he's amazing. He's awesome. Damn, Daniel. So he has literally everything he absolutely needs in this, and he only weighs like what, like maybe a hundred and sixty. Yeah, a buck Wet? sixty. Yeah. It's a little and bit over his this body. This thing weight. is this thing is heavy, but yeah. everything that he absolutely needs is in this pack. Yep. So this is everything. And he trucks it, man. Like he he'll he'll keep right up with us. I've never seen him have to slow down or anything, but um. He tells me all the time, he's like, yeah, I, I go through and I try to strip what I can and I try to take away and I it just, I don't want to go without anything. But well, um, yeah, show us what he's got in here. So up here, we got um, toiletries, you know, stuff to brush your teeth, keep clean. That's a big thing, especially like if you get cuts or bruises or any scrapes or anything out in the woods, a little something evolves mm -hmm. fast, you know, faster than it would you know, when you can go home and keep clean. But um, that being said, right up underneath that, first aid type stuff. First got, aid kit, right yeah. on the outside. Tourniquets, all kinds of stuff to keep clean. You know, gauze, all that good stuff. All segregated, all ready to go. All easy to get to. And that's right on the outside of the pack. Yep. That right. way you don't have to <clears throat> everything out. Dig for anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's right here. It's a yeah. lifesaver right there. Yep. And even when you're walking, you know, well, if you don't need to stop, you ain't got to stop. You can have one of your friends, mm -hmm. you know, hey, I need a band-aid something. Yep. Um, over here we got an axe, just a little hatchet. I mean that that helps so much. Splitting little twigs, getting mm -hmm. you know stuff like that ready it's to go. Fire. Yep. And then back over here we got um, we got a little lantern. We got some cups and sterno cans. Those little sterno cans. We got mm -hmm. something heating up over there right now. Hey, in that previous video you were talking about solar. There yep. you go, right there. Hey, mm -hmm. I tell you, man, I think that's the way to go. A little burner, a little sterno can, and some cups. Keeps the bandana in here just to keep it quiet. It just helps anything from rattling. The together. color has yeah. no affiliation to anything at all. No. <laughs> well, and when you're checking through the woods, that bandana Daniel's is a, a lifesaver <laughs> when it comes to noise and you're trying to stay quiet in a very, um, you know, tight area. Especially trying to move with some sort of speed. When you get like you a pace together and everything is <laughs> 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 it sounds like ten people coming down the wood. You know, getting into it up here. Got a nice little rain fight. And guys, we can actually go in depth with the actual pack itself and give you all the specs and everything if y'all want it, you know, content like that. But, um, or you can reach out to us and we can give you the info that you need if you are highly interested in it. Right here, right up the top, we got um, mostly like important paperwork that you would need to get too fast. You know, we got a fire starter in here, uh, rain poncho, uh, where you're going and where you're allowed to be, stuff like this is very important. Maps. Yeah. If you're out there and you're on the wrong piece of property, having somewhere for a reference and proof that you're out there, that just saves so much. So much of a hassle. And it keeps you within your bounds too. It lets you know where you need to be. You know, other than that, we got like um, Ziploc bags to keep stuff wet or dry, you know. But uh, going actually inside of it, this secondary little pouch, 
still in the top little plus plot. We got cooking accessories. These little sets are awesome, man. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a copper bottom too. That's yeah. pretty nice. Pretty nice. But like there's the little head for the sterno poppers and stuff. Yeah. And my man Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Well, like I said, even though he has a way to make fire, there's a, a, a bick in here, matches, just that there way you you're ready for a meal. Whatever you're dealing with isn't working out, you can still get it going. Always prepared. Always, Always prepared. prepared. I'm telling you, man, this is his life saving pack right here. Actually, going into the main body of the bag, it's a tubular design. So, honestly, that for speed, that's awesome mm -hmm. because everything's in one hole. Yes. You know, and that just depends on how well you organize it within your own pack. Yep. But, um, actually, going into the main compartment right here, everything's all lanyard off and He's actually lined his entire pack with a trash bag. It's so the smallest things that matter. Small man. little a dollar investment, maybe if that. I mean, mm -hmm. how much is one trash bag? This basically waterproofed his entire bag. You this know, and not not even bag. counting the fly that comes out of the bottom. Mm -hmm. Like this pack's gonna be dry. Everything in it that needs to be dry is gonna be dry. So um, I'm just gonna start laying stuff out. We can kind of talk about it one by one. Yeah. Here, yes. I can open this one right here. We know what this is. Yeah. So, this is all his quick food. Get in here. Sugar for coffee, some coffee. I mean, you got some good old mashed potatoes, you know. Got some of those at home. Oh, yeah. hey, the oh. best. Ramen noodles. Mm -hmm. Gotta have gotta ramen. Have some like granola everywhere. bars, something quick. You know, oatmeal. He's got everything in here. All quick meals that all you need is some hot water and you're set. And they're all very small, so they're actually very easily to you know contain inside a container of any sort mm -hmm. so it's something easy light that you can pack away that's going to put something in your body and just that right there that's I mean that's a testament to having your stuff ready to go mm -hmm. right on top you're going to get hungry in the woods yep. that's the first thing that's probably going to happen to you especially on the move mm -hmm. using your body strength you know you need energy so the fact that boom it's right there on top and we didn't have to undump this whole big old pack, yeah, you know, just for some food. Just for some food. Sometimes you you're in an environment, especially in a bug out situation, where hey, we got to eat, but we need to do it fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right. you don't want to be caught off guard and oh my god, I got to get my Barney bag back together <laughs> before you can even get away. <laughs> yeah, no, no, definitely. And he, he, everything in here is pretty small portion too. Yep. So it's always good to have your portions and fast. You don't have to have a whole bunch of stuff to get a meal prepared. Water, fast. Um, going beyond that, we have a tent. I know Daniel likes a tent. Some of us are um, hammock guys. Hammock. I know you like Pants. tents. Yep. But, um, <laughs> small, little lightweight tent. Um, guys, if you see anything in the in the videos that you want a review of, just let us know. This is awesome because we're in Florida. You don't need a 30 degree rated sleeping bag for 90% of the time that we're here. Yep. You know? So something small, lightweight, just to have something to even lay down on awesome awesome instead of carrying a big old poofy <laughs> at the bottom of your pack but see right there we got food shelter something comfy to put your head down on uh getting out of the weather even beyond that a rain fly this is this is worth its weight in gold yeah being able to keep dry being able to go and tuck away somewhere man even if, especially if it does get yeah. cold too and know? this is a shelter all on its own mm -hmm. like worst case scenario if something happens to your tent which that's why i don't like it yeah. You know, something could happen, you know, it could leave you in a pickle, but just that by itself, you can make a decent little shelter. Well, it also is a testament to always being prepared again, because you have multiple different things that you can use to put yourself out of the elements and get yourself in a very comfortable situation, even if you're not in a comfortable situation. Going down to the base of the pack, this is where most people would carry their, you know, stuff like that. Uh, we got water down here. That way it's just easy to get to, but it's all kind of stuffed away. And everything's full. A lot of the weight. You know, oh yeah, that's a lot of the weight. But that's why it's also good to have, you know, water procurement. Mm -hmm. So yep. you don't have to travel with your water. Yep. Because the water is going to be the heaviest thing that you have. Yep. If you try to keep everything modest and lightweight, like how this is set up, that's not a 10 man tent. You don't need mm -hmm. a 10 man tent when you're bugging out, you know. Hey, Big enough hey, for well, you and your well, wife, man. or you know, to fit a couple kids in there if you need to. But other than that, you don't need anything grandiose in a bad situation. Yep. And if you can also tell, everything is dark and olive. Uh, me and Daniel, we like... Damn, Daniel! Yeah, 
We, we like the stealthy type of camping. Yep. Even when there's no need to be. Mm -hmm. You know, that just the practice of it. Is practice pretty makes perfect. You never know yep. when a bad situation can happen. So but, um, we'll be prepared. Downstairs, we got water. You know, that's just something fast you can get to. You don't have to take your pack off to get to it. A buddy can get it for themselves. Oh, it's the Explorer 4000. I'm oh. sorry, so that information was wrong. All right. Fact checkers, fact checking. <laughs> on the side, on the hip strap, you've got extra bags, extra storage compartments, more little snacks. Yep. Something quick, it's on his hip. So he doesn't have to unclip his whole entire bag. As he's walking, he can just unzip it, and he's got a snack. He's got important things. Uh, our buddy is diabetic, unfortunately, but it doesn't stop him. He makes sure he brings everything that he needs to be able to keep going, keep driving. So he has all that ready for him, just in case he needs it. On the other side, we have just a multi-tool and just something that you might need. You might be walking around, you don't need to drop your whole pack just to get to something as small as just a, a multi-tool that you'd probably usually carry in your pocket anyways, but that's redundancy type deal. You know, mm -hmm. that's just making sure no matter which way I go, I'm gonna be okay. We uh we didn't cover the front pocket right here. How he's got his extra stands for his tent. He's got the stove. Yep. You know, you want to show the cool. stove real quick. Oh yeah, this is a pretty neat little stove. And you can just tell like stuff like this. This is what I like the survival stuff. That's small, compact. There's mm -hmm. there's going to be room for this in any pack. Lightweight. You know, lightweight. It's good to go. Pretty durable. And see, this is also multi-purpose too. Like this is a little stove, but I promise you, if you stood out in the field mm -hmm. and just shine this around, somebody's gonna see you up there, you yep, know? Yep. So multi-purpose type stuff is awesome. Like um, on my compass, my compass has a little magnifying glass on it. Mm -hmm. You know, that might help you read coordinates on a map or figure out where you're at or trying to get your bearings or something. But you can also turn it over and use it to start a fire. Yep, sir. You know, we've done that before. Yep. You know? Yes, we have. Yeah. But um, <laughs> little stuff like this really interests me. Because there's, you can be prepared for a bug out situation, and that's good. But I, I also like the bushcraft survival type deal. You know, yeah. I want to see how long I can stay out in the woods before I have to come home. You know, I don't. We don't wait for bad situations to happen before we go play out in the woods. Other than that, see, like right here, we have fatwood, just little pieces of um, we call it lighter knot, some lighter knot down here. Yeah. But um, fatwood to get your fire going, it's right there. You didn't have to go walk through the woods to try to find a dry piece, especially like right now. Where it, it, it just rained. got, it were rained out, everything's damp. Starting a fire with any material out here right now would be a headache. Yep. So having just that, even a third of that right there mm -hmm. would get you a fire going. So that's four or five fires right there that are fast, instant. As long as you do your work into it and you know, make your hearth and everything and lay it out and maybe we can do that in another video or something. Yep. I'd love to. Definitely. See, I think one of the things you said that's a real testament to like even what we're doing right now is that you got to train for every situation. It's not just training with weapons. It's not just training with firearms or, you know, training with the big things. There's a lot of little things that go in <laughs> that if you go out into the woods, you can train with where everything is and, and memorize where all your stuff is. So if there is a bad situation, you'll know immediately, okay, boom. I know exactly what pack I need to go to. I know exactly where, you know, I need to go to get things that I need immediately. Definitely, practice makes perfect. Always be prepared. You know, it's the same thing we cover all the time. You know, you gotta practice these things. You can't just have this bag made sitting in your closet and you never even went out to the woods. You can't do it. You need to get out there. It's, I mean, the hell, the place that we're camping right now is free. There's plenty of places that you're local state and um, you know counties might have free recreational camping places that you can sign up for and go camping get out there play in the woods have a great time practice these things you know it, it's always we, we have fun doing it but at the same time of us having fun and enjoying our time we know that this is more stri strategy and it's more practice because like we said practice makes perfect and that's one thing also I want to talk about too I'm really bad about robbing from my pack throughout the year I'll need extra batteries or I'll need you know something or I need a piece of tape or I need something out of my pack and I'll go rub it and I'll use it for whatever I need at home mm -hmm. but then I don't replace it and that's that's oh my gosh that's setting myself up for failure mm -hmm. because I know I had it in my pack yep but I'll forget that I used it and oh. then I'm sitting in the middle of the woods needing it and don't have it yeah even as something as simple as um in one of my little pouches I carry um uh, 
hot glue sticks. Mm -hmm. You remember that time we went camping? Yeah. And our friend Trevor, he got a hole in his tent. Oh man. And I yep. sat there with a patch and hot glue and patched his air mattress back together. <laughs> I, I knew putting it in my pack that I would, there's, I'll never use this. Yeah, what are you going to need hot glue for? <laughs> what am for? I going to need a hot glue hey, stick for? I mean, but that day showed. Mm -hmm. And ever since that day, I've been like, little stuff. All the little details matter. Mm. Well, and that's a perfect little uh, tidbit for even the last video that we made, the duplication rule. So yep. even if you did rob from your bag, you know, always having more than more than one and even more than two, the duplication right. rule mm -hmm. applies to everything. So even if you did rob your bag, at least you would have another one in your bag and having extra supplies in your bag, even if you do take from it. Yep. For little stuff like that and also like Okay, so I've I've had packs of lighters in my backpack, right? Mm -hmm. There's this little trick I've learned where you take a zip tie and you put it up underneath the lip of it so that the trigger can't depress. You go put a brand new Bic in your backpack and between you walking around and going down the trail and stuff, the gas is leaked out of it. And then you go and thinking, I got 10 Bics in there and you got half wow. full 10 <laughs> Bics in there, you know? You know, just little stuff like that can trip you up, mm -hmm. you know? And it's everything out here, as peaceful it is right now, it wants to hurt you, it wants to bite you, it wants to sting you, mm -hmm. it wants to eat you. Especially like when we go to the lake at night and we want to use the bathroom, like it's hey, I'm not gonna pee on a gator, right? You know, <laughs> stuff like that. Nothing out here is friendly by no means. That's true. So we carry our shield on our back. All right, well, we're really happy that we got to go ahead and break down this bag. Tyler, thank you so much for showing us a lot of the things that you know, make up this pack. And, you know, as we saw last time, it is super heavy. It's still super heavy, but it all has a purpose and it has a lot of great uses. And shout out to our buddy, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Hooking up this bag Thank for you. us and actually letting us review this bag and show uh, how prepared he is and how prepared, you know, all of our packs should be, honestly. Goals to strive. All right, guys, well, thank you very much. And go like, share, subscribe, hit up all of our videos, and always remember guys, who's, who's got, got your six? six? Bro, she said it was huge. I thought we were gonna be on camera for it. He's walking we in are. camera. He, Jose's gonna be talking and then we're gonna kinda walk in. <laughs>